Coming up today on the first episode of eBay News, why convenience shoppers aren't buying on eBay, why a 50 pence isn't worth 500 pounds, and how eBay and AdGen are taking their relationship to the next level. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to the first episode of eBay News. So in this one, we're going to talk about first off why convenience shoppers aren't buying on eBay. You can see I'm on Tambay, which is like one of the go-to places for sort of eBay updates and eBay news. And I just wanted to read out a few of these paragraphs here. It's mainly these uh, first three paragraphs that I wanted to talk about um, in a little bit of depth. So we've got eBay is becoming an increasingly difficult marketplace to buy on when you want an item delivered promptly. It's no surprise that Amazon, even with their more than one day delivery for many Prime members, is winning as it's as as it's oh as it's the default choice for for consumers when they want fast shipping with their item delivered tomorrow or in some cases today. So essentially, what it's saying is most people are choosing to go over to Amazon when they want faster shipping. Um, eBay talk a lot about a lot about re retail standards. They use retail standards to justify why sellers should do things like offer 30 day returns, have great images and offer free postage. But you'll never hear eBay talk about retail standards and next day delivery. Today's retail standards for delivery is that you can get your item tomorrow even as default or an, as an upgrade. Some retailers like Next will allow you to order up until midnight and still deliver tomorrow. There's no kind way to say this, but eBay do not meet retail standards for delivery speed, and that is part of the reason that buyers aren't loyal to eBay. Certainly for many products, uh, certainly for many products, buyers aren't in a hurry and are willing to wait to receive their purchase. But for other products, they simply don't shop on eBay and go to places that do offer retail standards on delivery speed. When buyers want convenience, they go to Amazon. So what do you guys think? Drop a comment down below. Do you think that obviously eBay um, is suffering because Amazon is a marketplace that can deliver a lot faster? Um, do you think it is just down to delivery speed that maybe uh, more shoppers are going over to Amazon or other sites or is there more to it than that? Yeah, please do drop a comment down below. So that's the excerpt from this article that I wanted to touch on because that's the main sort of thing it's talking about. It then goes on to basically talk about how fast and free isn't really uh, fast shipping and it also goes on to um, express delivery and all that sort of stuff and then uh, it talks about Chinese sellers as well. If you want to read any more in depth about this article I will leave it down below but the highlight of it for me is just those opening paragraphs there um, in what it's actually talking about. So yeah generally that is that one so we will go on to the next article. So next we've got quite a funny uh, article, at least it's quite funny in my, my opinion. eBay, extremely, re this is maybe a little bit of a less reputable source here, Sunday Express. eBay, extremely rare 50p coin listed for £500. Do you have a Battle of Hastings piece? Now, essentially you'll see a lot of these in the news. Like these 50p's apparently being worth loads and loads of money. There are ones that are worth good money, um, but... It once I've when I've looked into a bit of detailing to this one, I don't think this one actually is worth that much money. But I'll actually show you. Um, I'll read a bit of this article because it might actually make you laugh. So um, eBay, a rare 50p coin is listed. So there's the first mistake: listed, not sold. Listed for an eye water in 500 pound on a website. But do you have one? The Battle of Hastings coin is said to be extremely rare, according to the seller. Well, that, there's no validity to that then, is it? Because I could just say any item that I am selling is rare. But anyway, so I'll just quickly uh, read down here. Where was it now? Um, so I'll just read this bit here. eBay is brilliant form for buying and selling of rare coin pieces. It has become an online treasure trove for collectors looking for certain designs. Fair enough. Uh, one particular coin, a Battle of Hastings 1066 50 pence uh, piece is listed for a whopping £500. This is the buy it now price for buyers who want to make an instant purchase, but eBay users can also make lower bids. The listing is titled Battles of Hastings, extremely rare, 50 pence coin, da 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 It is being sold by Kim Z 1985 who has 100% positive feedback, etc. Doesn't really mean all that much anyway. It's not like it gives it this amazing validity. Uh, description reads, da 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 I won't read all that. Um, but essentially, it's this article is just 
putting what's on the eBay listing into an article and saying it's worth £500. If it's not sold for £500, how can you possibly create an article um, saying it's worth £500? I mean, it's look, this is the listing here, £500 starting bid, no bids. It's not even got any bids. So it's like, I don't know what it ended on, but I doubt it ended on ended on £500 or anything. I doubt it even got any, any bids. Um, but yeah, so it's just quite funny, this article. Now, I did actually go on Completing Souls just to have a look at this coin. Um, and it's the 2016 version. If we go back onto the article here, it is the 2016 version. It's that one there. And there might be some weird discrepancy that I'm not noticing on the coin. But it looks exactly like this one here now. Fair enough, that one is in circulated condition. The other one was in uncirculated condition. Which just means it's in like really amazing condition. Um, and it's not actually, you know, passed through circulation into a load of people's hands and stuff. And got dirty and all that sort of stuff. There's a little bit more to it than that. But that's the basic definition. Um, so yeah, this is circulated. But if we go down... There was one that was uncirculated. Here, uncirculated Battle of Hastings, 2016 50p coin, rare, 50 pence, £4.75. You can see there's loads of these, 99p, 99p there. Now, there is a silver proof one, so I don't know, actually. That one might be the silver proof one, but it's still no way near £500. It's £40 there, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe this one was the silver proof one, but I don't think it was. It doesn't say anything on the listing, does it? It doesn't say silver proof. It doesn't look like it's a silver proof one either. To be honest, on the listing, that doesn't even... On the photo listing there, that doesn't even look like it's properly in uncirculated condition. So, yeah, a bit laughable. Uh, a little bit laughable. And whoever's like, wrote this article, they've obviously not done enough research, in my opinion. Um, but, yeah, so that's that one, and we shall move on to the next one. So basically here on this article we've got Adyen or Aiden or whatever it's called, I don't even know, but I think it's Adyen. Um, eBay payment screenshot from beta testing, so it seems like they are running beta tests on, I believe this is eBay.com. Um, well, yeah, it must be because it's in dollars there, well, it might be Australia or something, but I'm, I'm guessing it's eBay.com. Ah, yeah, there we go, it says eBay.com down there. Um, so it looks like this is going to be like the screen you may come to once you're checking out but there's actually some uh, decent information down here on the article so obviously you can just see here this reads you know the first ebay payment screenshot has been spotted on ebay.com as beta test rolls out and ad gen start to power payments for the marketplace um this is what will eventually become the default across ebay worldwide with some sellers in the us already opting in um, but there was something down here actually. So sellers also have a bit, may have a bit of a shock coming um, down the line when PayPal is eventually added. It is very possible, um, as seen with Etsy payments, that PayPal will be offered, but not to sellers' personal PayPal accounts. PayPal payments may go straight into eBay payments and be dispersed to sellers' accounts, along with credit and debit card payments and other payment methods such as Apple Pay, which eBay have already announced will be their first new integration. So from that, I get that maybe, again, it it isn't obviously confirmed this. It literally just says um, it is possible, it's very possible that this may happen. But if that happens, then obviously the payments might um you know might be held by ebay much like with amazon obviously if you do amazon amazon fba that sort of stuff they obviously hold your payments i believe it's for two weeks and then you obviously can get them um, and i believe if you have an individual selling plan and not a pro selling plan they may even hold them for a bit longer but i'm not 100 percent on that um so it seems like that might be coming i don't know i mean it's it's just saying it's very possible so i don't think anything's been confirmed but if that does come, I will be pretty annoyed because I really do like the, the current setup of obviously getting your money straight to your PayPal account immediately. Having these disimbursements and stuff, I don't particularly like it with Amazon, but I, I can put up with it. Um, but really, I would like eBay to stay how it is in that respect. But I'm, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you Would you guys like the sort of disimbursement um Thing or would that annoy you because uh, it seems reading between the lines a little bit here that could be what's happening so or, or what might eventually happen so yeah i'm not sure on that one but it's uh it'd be quite interesting to see what actually does roll out because i say this is kind of just speculation at the moment um but as they say here it is very possible that that could 
be rolled out and yeah i just i wouldn't really be into that um so i don't know let's let's see um ebay payments beta features so these are some of the features of the uh, beta testing the main things you need to know are ebay will consolidate payments and invoices into a single account payouts will be made daily ah that's not bad then ah reading reading this doesn't uh that's not that bad actually payments will be made daily to your bank account ebay are exploring faster ways to get paid with partners all fees will be on a single eBay invoice. This will include payment fees, etc., etc. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe eBay payments will be made daily. I'm not sure then. Maybe it won't be the whole. You know, you have to wait a week or whatever. But yeah. Anyway, I don't know whether this is just for the beta features though. Like, I don't know whether this would be rolled out as kind of the, the main thing that would happen. But yeah. Um, so yeah, this is uh, as a reminder for those opting into eBay payments beta. So yeah, this actually might not be rolled out as the same thing once you know it's completely rolled out everywhere. So yeah, there is, it probably will be subject to change. So yeah, anyway, there's still a bit of speculation around that. But that was quite interesting. So obviously, you know, we heard all about this ad gen thing. Of, I don't know how many months ago it was now, a few months ago now. Um, and obviously they're getting the ball rolling things are things are actually happening now we've seen it here um, so yeah that's quite interesting so I'll just go on to the uh, final article now so again we've got a article here from the Sun um, you take it as it is because you know it's not particularly reputable or anything obviously it's a newspaper a lot of newspapers are biased and all that sort of stuff but I just thought I'll include this one uh, quite a nice little article here um, it's just basically saying like you know uh, these are the most wanted retro items on eBay, da, 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 um, and these could be worth up to whatever. Now, I was a little bit annoyed because I actually clicked through onto some of their um, anchor text down here and actually expanded a few of the listings. And to be honest, a couple of them aren't actually sold listings, but a few of them are sold listings. So they've done a little bit more research than the actual coin article over here. Um, and they have actually got a few of sold listings in there to back back up the data, but a few of them weren't sold listings. Now I do want to point a few things out for if there's any new sellers watching. Um, obviously, these like Apple iPod up to two hundred and seventy six pound. There are different versions of these things that I'm going to show you. Some of which will be worth far less than the, than the amount of money that they're quoting here. Obviously, regular. Um, resellers, regular viewers of the channel will completely be aware of this and essentially what the Sun is doing is just like bigging them up for more than they're worth somewhat. I mean basically what they're doing is they're taking like the highest value sales of the last three months and then saying look this type right you can get £160 for a typewriter well yeah you could probably get £160 for a certain typewriter but for another one you might only get £20 so I just thought I'd just include this just for a little bit of fun but always be aware that obviously you might not get these prices for, for these exact things but you can see here we've got you know an Apple iPod I don't know what make this is don't know whether it even says uh, so uh, we had a look and found that iPod classics were fetching the most money on eBay with the first generation one recently selling for 276 after 13 bids. Again, might want to do a bit more of your own research there. I have actually opened a tab with one of the sold listings that they actually showed. Um, and then that might give you a better idea of kind of how they're doing it. We've got a Nokia 3, 3310 here up to £56 mp3 players again depending on the make and all that it depends what the price is um but it's got this i, I quite like this little section down here um it has like a little um what you need to look out for when selling things on ebay so it gives like you know the noobs a little bit of a um a little bit of a crash course on what's good and what's maybe not good uh, watch out for sellers fees brilliant that's always a good one for, for you know new sellers Set the right amount for postage and packaging. That is a huge one. Obviously, always remember to set your postage and packaging right. Close your auction on a Sunday. I thought that was a good one. Obviously, it's quite a common one, but it's nice that we've got this little thing here just sort of giving newer sellers or casual sellers um, a little bit of information on what we can do. So that's quite cool. Uh, again, here's the typewriter up to 160. That'll just be on a certain make, obviously. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean 
your typewriter is going to be worth 160 quid, probably more like 30 or 40 quid, something like that. Um, but yeah, thought that was pretty cool. And then Sony Walkman, this made me laugh actually, up to 510. Yeah, again, but your Sony Walkman, most of them are probably only going to be like 20 to 50 pounds, something like that, which is still good money but not necessarily 510 obviously they've just picked like the best make and the highest value sale and stuff this is the one i actually uh, opened up a new tab for sega mega drive up to 75 pound where is it here um so this is a sold listing but obviously as you can see it's boxed it's in really really good condition so 75 pound for just a bit more of a tatty one you wouldn't really get that but yeah so that's that one anyway that was one of the sold listings Apple Mac, etc., and it goes down. Polaroid camera up to 325. But it seems what they've done is just kind of take the highest value sales, you know, as I mentioned. Um, but yeah, so always be, you know, when people, I think when people actually look at these articles, they kind of get a bit excited. And then they maybe um, try and get the, you know, they might not know how to do eBay research very well. And they go on eBay and they think they can get these prices for these things. And then when they don't sell, they don't understand why not. And they get confused and they don't really ever want to sell on eBay again and stuff. And it makes them a bit down about the whole process. So, yeah, just remember, you know, ground yourself a little bit and realize that actually the prices on here aren't particularly um 100 accurate or anything like that it will depend on the model and the style and all that if you are obviously a new seller that's watching this uh, video right now so anyway that'll wrap up the first episode of ebay news um hope you enjoyed it if you did then please do smash the like button down below throw me a comment did you like this style of video would you like to see it again i really enjoyed making it so i'm probably going to do it again anyway um and don't forget if you haven't already please do subscribe and if you would like to share this video with another seller who who think who you think would enjoy it then please do uh feel free to do that my voice almost went then so i will be going um thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one